Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Better Bots. Today, we are going to be talking about Twilio spammers and how to stop them. Um, a lot of people want to be able to offer free trials or very cheap trials for their white label CRM SaaS product that they're offering. But unfortunately, uh, spammers want to take advantage of it and they don't plan on paying you back for the usage that they uh, draw up. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can automatically stop a sub account from drawing up too much usage. Um, now, a couple of things. This won't make much sense if you have not watched my Build a Go High Level app in 30 minutes video. Um, so make sure you check out that video on our channel first so you know how exactly to make a no code Go High Level app. Uh, and then, other than that, we'll need a couple of tools. Obviously, we'll need Go High Level, but we will also need Make, which uh, formerly known as Integramat. They have been purchased by a company called Make. Um, so you will need a Make account. So make sure you set that up and other than that once that's all done let's go ahead and dive on in all right so once we have gotten our go high level oauth app set up uh, from my previous videos and we have the webhook callback url set to the integramat now known as make uh, scenario for our client Twilio tracking usage scenario we have set up here. Basically, this webhook is going to receive uh, a notification anytime a message goes in or out. Um, we're all we're going to use that notification to look up in Google Sheets to see exactly which uh, location ID this is to see which uh, account we should be updating the usage for. Do some math to just you know add one to the current usage, and then we're going to update a cell and we're going to update the total that we have. So the sheet will look a little bit like this. You have the phone number for each location ID that you're going to want to do this for. You're going to want to make sure that you add the location ID, the number, the volume, and then whatever your price per message is. And this will help you keep up with your total per sub account. Now, let's say we want to take that a little bit further. We want to automatically disable a sub account whenever they go past a certain usage if they have not yet had a successful charge. So let's put uh, let's put a thing here that says charged or credited. And so we can say true. And for this one, we'll say false. So that way we can say, all right, if we go into this sheet and we see that the usage is over our threshold, which we can set that up in the filter here, we can say if the result is greater than 100 and let's say uh, suspended equal, or I'm sorry, this is actually gonna be called credited, is equal to false, then in that case, what we're gonna end up doing is we're actually going to fire a new webhook to, uh, to suspend that Twilio account. So let's, we're gonna create an HTTP webhook, uh, and now it's gonna be a basic auth request. This is very important. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that basic auth request and the URL that we're going to be doing. I'll make sure I put in the uh, description here, but let me go ahead and grab it really quick. All right, so from Twilio's documentation, this is actually the URL we're going to need to use right here. So it's going to be this HTTPS API .twilio.com slash whatever. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. But the difference is right here where we have this account, sub account, whatever we are actually going to make sure you have the dot JSON in there and we're gonna make sure we actually change this with the SID row. So we're gonna have an SID row in here as well um, that actually has the Twilio SID for this specific sub account. Um, and to get that, all you have to do is go into your Twilio main account, click on view sub accounts and then choose the sub account you're wanting to track. Um, and then you'll get the SID for that specific account. So let me go grab that really quick. All right, perfect. So now that we have this SID in the F column here, we should be able to just use that specific SID. Um, now for the credentials, uh, it's very important that you use your main sub, or I'm sorry, your main Twilio account credentials. So it's a username and password pair, and it's not the username and password you sign up with. It is your main SID and token. So to see where we get those, I'm actually going to go here. So I'm, you can see I'm actually in a sub account here. So I'm, I'm going to go to my my first Twilio project main account. And the way that you know you're not in a sub account is it won't be yellow right here. You won't see any yellow. And as long as you don't see any yellow, 
and go here, make sure that I grab that SID, put it in here as my username credential. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then for the password, I'm gonna go grab the uh, token from the exact same place. So just from right below that, you copy that token and you can paste that sucker right back in there in the password field. So let me do that really quick. Awesome, and then once you get those credentials saved, it'll just say something like my HTTP basic auth. And then for the body type, we're gonna go down here and make sure you choose form URL encoded. And then there's one field we need, and that is going to be status, and the value is gonna be suspended. So then if we check this out, Overall, what's going on here is we're receiving a new webhook whenever we get a new message sent. We're gonna check the Google Sheet to see which sub-account that message belongs to and what the Twilio account SID is for that specific sub-account. We're gonna generate the usage calculation here based off of just how many uh, messages have been sent in and outbound. Uh, and then we're going to update the sheet with the total usage for whatever the time period is. And then on the router here, depending on if they have gone over their limit, which in our case, we've set it to more than 100 SMS messages inbound and outbound, and their credited field, meaning we have not or we have or have not charged them in Stripe yet, uh, is set to false. And in a separate video, I'll show you how you can also use Integromat to actually uh, update this field based off of Stripe automations as well. So as long as all this ha uh, these conditions are met, what's gonna happen is we're gonna make an HTTP request to accounts slash account SID, which is the SID we're getting here from the Google Sheet. And then, ooh, very important, this method needs to be post, not get, does need to be post. Um, and then for the, auth the, the credentials, you just need to use your main Twilio account SID and main Twilio account token. Those are, that's your authentication for this. Uh, and so then from there, the only other thing you need is the field saying status equals suspended. You don't need to parse the response or anything. You can if you want, but totally up to you. So now I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna save this whole scenario. And then just to make sure that it works, I am going to run this once. I'm gonna go here to my account and I am going to send myself a quick message. So let me just find my number here. And I'm just gonna say, and then if we come in here, we should see, yep, we got all of that. And look at that. It did, in fact, follow this path that we wanted it to. So let's see what the data says. And it says that the status is suspended. So there we go. Um, just like that, because the credited field was set to false and the price per message, or I'm sorry, the volume uh, reached 102, which is greater than my threshold here. Uh, I don't want this person to be able to use that Twilio sub account anymore. Uh, so I am going to suspend it. So now it is suspended. And then if I want to be able to reactivate that sub-account, I can make the exact same HTTPS request here, um, but using status equals active parameters. So feel free to use this, um, this, this whole method uh, to prevent your potential future clients from spamming you and, and generating too much cost. I hope this helps. And if you liked it, please leave a like. And uh, if you would like to see any other videos, please comment so I know what to focus on next. Thanks.